Hey friends, it's Mari here and I've got a project for Scrapbook Nerd today and Scrapbook Nerd is hosting an online crop this weekend and I'm going to be doing a journaling challenge for my layout for the crop and I'm going to be working with a bunch of different collections today. Uh, the base paper that you see here that's aqua is from the Blessed collection from Kaisercraft. This six by six paper is from Splendor from my mind's eye. And then that wood grain paper that you see to the left is from Heidi Swap Emerson Lane. You can get all of these products over at the Scrapbook Nerd online shop. And I am going to leave a link to the online shop in the description box below. So like I said, my challenging, my challenge for the crop was a journaling challenge. And so what I decided to do was create a layout here with some hidden journaling. So I'll show you how I achieved that as I'm going through my process here today. So I printed my black black and white photo here at about four by three. This is a photo from my daughter's bridal shower back in the summertime and it's a photograph of myself and my sister, my daughter, and then my um, my sister-in-law and three of my nieces. So I love this photograph and it's just a really great family shot. Now you can see where I took that wood grain paper and I scored it at about half an inch and I folded that over and I'm going to create a little flap with this. I am actually going to flip it over to the opposite orientation that it's in right now, but you'll see that as I go through. So now I'm just going to create a little bit of a mat with my photograph and I kind of want to create um, the mat more on the left side since it's going to be that left side is going to be popped up and attached to that wood grain paper that's going to then flap open. So I'm going to just use a little bit of dimensional adhesive and you can see now where I've got that scored half inch piece glued down and how that flap opens up and now the photograph is also adhered to that and it's free to flap open because it's only adhered on the left hand half of the photograph. Now I'm just taking my little distressing tool and roughing up the edge of that wood grain paper and I love the combination of this wood grain paper and that aqua paper from those two different collections. I think it's gorgeous. And if you have not seen the Splendor collection from My Mind's Eye yet, you have to. Um, Joy has it in the shop. It is beautiful. Um, it's probably one of my favorite collections that I've seen in a while. It does remind me a little bit of crepe paper. Um, but it definitely has its own thing going for it. And I love it. It's so pretty. The tones of pinks and teal and gray and uh, oh just a bunch of different colors the ranunculus the roses really really gorgeous and so you can see that I'm trying on the right side there to keep some of the die cuts um, just attached to that aqua paper on the base and then attached to the to the uh, photograph so that the photo um, piece can still flap open independently of the base. So nothing that's attached to the photo is also attached to the base. Um, everything is created so that that flap can still swing open. So you can see I'm adding a little bit of dimension with my scrapbook adhesives foam adhesive there and that just adds some really nice uh, capability of layering over with those different die cut pieces. So when the top piece is popped up on some adhesive, you can just slide another piece in beneath it and create that dimension in that way. I'm also using some of the chipboard pieces on this layout as well, and also some of the enamel dots from the Splendor collection too. So you'll see me working away, adding some of those details with those bits and pieces from that same collection. Um, I'm just gonna, so you can see all of the pieces that are on that chipboard sheet as well. And there's, it's a double-sided or two sheet uh, chipboard set. So you actually get two nine by 12 sheets of chipboard with it. So really great value with that. Now I'm just taking my anti-static powder tool and I'm just taking off some of the sticky there while I decide where I want that to go. And then I will add some more adhesive um, later once I'm finishing up the layout. I wanted to just repeat those little tiny yellow floral pieces in both of the little cluster areas. 
Now I just took one of the manufacturing strips off of the back of a text paper. I didn't want to cut into the text paper from the Splendor collection just for that tiny little area there to the left. So I just used the manufacturing strip that had text on it to add to that, just to add a little bit more detail to the left of that wood grain. I'm just going to get my tweezers out just to position this a little bit. These EK Success tweezers are one of my very most favorite tools in my stash. I use them all the time for card making and for scrapbooking, just for getting into those little areas when you're trying to position something. And I think I'm just going to reach for another die cut there. I love that really pretty, beautiful, large rose. And this fabulous piece also came in the Splendor die cut pack. The die cut pack with that collection has so many pieces in it. It is massive and it's very, very nice. Now I'm also going to add some white thickers from my stash to spell out the word day. And so the title will be fabulous day. And the only thing left to do is to add some little enamel dots. There's lots of really cool ways that you can add hidden journaling to your layouts uh, creating a flap for your journaling is one of the ways that you can do that and I did start the journaling I haven't finished it yet but I will and I just love how this gives that hidden journaling option so I'm just gonna add those dots and I'm gonna be all done make sure you hop over to the scrapbook nerd friends group on Facebook and join in in the online crop and like I said I will leave links in the description box below thank you so much for joining us and for watching my video today and I hope to see you another time. Stay, stand by for some still shots at the end of the video where you can see some close-ups of the layout. Thanks so much guys and I'll see you another time. Bye-bye.